Yo, what's up YouTube? I'm back here with another video. Um, we're gonna continue on with this um, episode number three of the Troy Built Bronco. Um, today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be uh, focusing on the front tire, the brakes. We're gonna see what all else we can get into. Um, gonna be popping this um, engine shroud here all maybe even looking at the overhead valves make sure that they're fine and they do not need to be adjusted so with that being said without further ado let's go ahead and let's jump on into this video all right so we're gonna remove this stupid little hub cap here or whatever There's a little hub cap right there. That right there is headed for the garbage. Actually, let me go ahead and shine a little bit of light on this subject. And uh, what we need to do, it's uh, some type of uh, pin or something up in here. We need to remove this. All right, so I uh, decided to grab a can of P PB Blaster, if I can talk right here, and uh, a wire brush, and I'm gonna try to get a lot of grease on here. So we have that. Look at that, look at that tire right there. It, somehow or another, this right here uh, come off the bead. Y'all see that right there? That's crazy. So this tire, I mean, it looks and feels as if it's in good condition. Uh, I may have to let air out the tire. Oh, hold on. We got, uh, we got some cracking right there. We got cracking right there. It still holds air. Clean this here up. And I'm gonna also uh, wire wheel this here. We're just gonna wipe all this grease down, everything. Right over here, it has, uh, I need to get a grease gun. And I'm pretty sure Judging by a little bit of that rust down there, it wouldn't hurt to use a little bit of grease in there and all that stuff. But anyway, uh, what I want to do now is uh, I want to take my wire wheel here and I want to clean this up. So that's looking better already. I use this right here on almost every riding lawnmower that uh, comes in. It was on uh, the tire, what holds the tire on. I need to find a carter pin and I'm gonna uh, remove this here because I do not like that at all. All right, so here I have my little assortment of uh, carter pins. I guess, let's go ahead and let's try to get this uh, guy here on out. So it's like that there. That tire right there is really on there. This right here is uh, tubed. This right here is the one I've done. Um, this has been a while back, but anyway, yeah. This right here is tubed. All right, so we got that right there on there real nice. Now what I need to do is I need to go through my uh, carter pins here again. I need to find one that will 
hopefully fit. We're gonna test one out here. Yeah, that should go on there. All right, so we got the tire uh, reinstalled on the um, left side here. The carter pin, it fits and all that. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's address this tire here. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to uh, let the air out this tire. As y'all can see, that is a, a crack right there. And these tires here, you know, they're they are old uh, since it's been on the ride more. And I can 100% guarantee it's a bend. How in the hell do you bend a ride line more rim? All right, so right now I'm gonna show y'all how I changed my uh, tire. We're gonna slap this puppy right on up in there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's grab the other tire and rim. We have the old steering rod. What do we do with it? I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna do it like that. And what I'm doing is, is I'm making uh, a tire changer here. Move y'all back a little bit. Don't need no injuries on the job today. So now we got our tire right here and we're gonna slap this bad boy on there i got the tube in all right so we got the tube in uh it was gonna be a headache for me to do it on cam so i just went ahead and done it off cam as you just seen i took those um little vice strips there i had it on here at first it's not going to hurt anything just barely pinch it right here yeah just do it like that and i just snugged them up barely just a little bit on this right here i show you on this tube just barely just snug it up right there all right i don't know if that tube is any good or not but anyway let's go ahead and uh let's see what happens gonna leave those on there I scarred the rim a little bit right there which ain't too big of a deal all right uh, it's almost enough tire pressure up in there but we need uh, to add a little bit more air and I'm using this chuck here I'm gonna call that good. We're gonna slap this thing um, back on the riding lawnmower. I'm gonna see here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna slap this bad boy on there like that. And now, what we need to do is we need to get a carter pin. We're gonna use this guy right here. All right, so that puppy right there is installed. All right, so um, I just wanted to include this right here into the video here. Uh, it says that my package here is five stops away. It appears that it's uh, updating live. Let's just uh, see what happens here. Actually, they're here right now, I believe. I can't find a battery uh, mounts. I'll find them later or whatever. What we're going to be using is the big boy JNC660. The start this thing here on up so we're just going to set it right down here and we're going to do that like that and now we're going to go ahead we're going to give it that 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing here uh, heat up and everything because uh, I'm getting ready to drain the oil and hopefully I got enough uh, gas up in this jug. I just got it sitting right down over here. Let's go ahead and let's do it. Oh, let me uh, disconnect this here. to give y'all a shot of this oil that came out of the uh, rod line mower. This right here uh, looks pretty bad and uh, right here we have the Kohler, the original um, Kohler oil filter. Once my wife wakes up uh, we will finish installing this here uh, steering shaft. I want to show y'all uh, this part right here. This right here is the uh, information on it. This right here is that. Uh, I go ahead and I will uh, open it up right now for y'all so that y'all can get uh, a look at it. Here's the part that we're gonna be installing on the bottom. That's what that looks like. You're gonna have to have this uh, part here. Um, I will leave a link down in the description below. And uh, yeah, you can get this off of Amazon, eBay, uh, e-replacement parts. Anyway, I just want to include that information right there. We got some bolts back here. You get what size they are. All right, so I got the bolts out. Um, let's see. All right, we should be able to lift this right on off hopefully there's not a mouse nest or nothing actually uh, let's remove uh, this dipstick as well doesn't look uh, in that bad of a shape let me go ahead and let me get a few more uh, tools together we're gonna go from there I'm picking back up on this video I had some legal issues I had to take care of first uh, we're going to be finishing up this video, we're going to be installing the steering shaft. So I'm going to show y'all how to install the steering shaft, the steering uh, rod. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, install that right there right now. Alright, so uh, here is this guy right here. This right here is going to go right down there in the middle of the frame. Hopefully y'all can see um, what I'm referring to. We're gonna take this side right here and it goes face down. You have to line it up down here. Make sure that it's sitting in there the way that it's supposed to because you don't want it to uh, spin on you or whatever. As y'all probably had noticed, I've already taken this here off. And what I need to do is, is I need to remove uh, this here screw. This right here is the screw, which 
you need to do is get this guy here popped out. I'm gonna have to get a flathead screwdriver to uh, release this piece of plastic here. All right, be easy and pry up on this. You just take a flathead screwdriver like I just did and that's what this right here looks like. So now what we need to do is we need to fish the steering rod up through this hole here, okay? You have this end right here. It looks something like that right there. And anyway, uh, we're gonna take this. We're gonna fish that through there like that. Now, you take this here and you drop it down up in this hole. All right, so right now I'm gonna uh, demonstrate this for you. I took y'all off the trusty tripod. Let's try here what we use to uh, film with, you know what I'm saying? Got the big boy power bank for extra power for the GoPro. Anyway, uh, what you wanna do, all right, that right there, see that hole right there? okay you just want to and i apologize about my arm being in the way but i cannot help it just want to take that and you want to drop that down up in there like that make sure that you get it uh lined up correctly all right now you take this in right here and you just Drop it down up in there like that. Y'all see it right there? But what I'm gonna do is to prevent this here uh, steering wheel from uh, seizing, I'm gonna put some anti-seize, never seize on this here shaft. Now if you may be able to make that out, you can see some rust and stuff like that up in there. So actually before I put here uh anti seize on there you ever see that uh i was like well i mean it's gonna get all over this here we don't want that right so we're just gonna do this like that okay so now what we need to do is we need to take this guy and we need to slap him on there like that you're gonna have two screws. You're gonna have one that goes right here and over here. So here's what those screws looks like. Like a Torx head or something like that. All right, so you have a bolt and a lock nut right here. Um, and them are, these right here, they go on the sides. All right, so I'm gonna um, try, to, try to install this gas tank mount here um, or whatever. And it's kind of tricky. You just gotta get everything um, back where it's supposed to be. The screws that you're gonna need is, it's four screws. And they look like something like that there with the hex head. What we need to do is um, slide that guy on the, just like that. Now we have a washer. That washer you can just drop right down up in there. So here is the bolt right here. As y'all can see, they had a little bit of thread locker on there. Is I'm gonna take some of this uh, thread locker right here and I'm gonna apply some to the bolt. So you put your bolt in like that. You're gonna need an extension. So now I'm just gonna uh, start cranking down on it.
that should be uh, tight enough. You have a big side right here and then you have these sides right here. This big side right here is gonna go right there. You feel it kind of slip into place. There you go. So that's how you install that right there.